Some of you brains ask me, how do I maintain my salt levels? The answer is, I make sure I have a pretty salty white burb. Right? Uh huh. Because without a salty burb, don't you dare hit me! Oh, what is that? That's a hit and run! I saw you do it! Stop it! I call the salty police! Alright, now, serious question for anyone. Who loves it when things just don't work? Logically, no one should. You should like it when things work well. If you said yes, think about your life decisions. Technically, I love it when things don't work because it gives me the opportunity to unleash a salty crafter who's usually behind me and likes to creep out once in a while. But, you know, what are you gonna do? And so today, we're going to be opening another mystery package from Kernet. She's also on YouTube, so I'll leave her link in the description box below. Thank you, Kernet, for sending me another box of mystery kits that I'm scared of. <laughs> If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because we love to do Cash or Trash, a show where we rate craft kits, whether they're worth your cash or if they should be thrown in the trash. All right, let's see what we get inside. I don't know why I'm nervous, because you grains know how to pick stuff better than I do, which ends up being more worth your cash, but I guess we'll find out. I absolutely love those kitty stickers all over. Let's do the opening, and... <gasps> is that my hair academia? Oh my god! This is not a craft kit I... Oh my god! That is so cool! Me good. Thank you so much, Kernet. I am a huge dork for My Hero Academia, so expect it somewhere in the background next video. I'm pretty sure this is handmade, so thank you for releasing some sugar. But we must continue with the salt! Alright, now we see some funky fizz. I have no idea. Okay, so it's a bath bomb. There's poop on the box, and usually it ends up being a crap kit. Could be wrong. Next, we have a tattoo kit. What is that? This little girl. Cute, by the way. I'm not attacking a little girl. Very cute, but she looks straight from the early 1990s. How old is this kit? And then we have a soap jellies making kit. I have had very bad experiences with jelly soap. It's going to be absolutely wonderful and smelling and squishy, they said. But all it ends up being is a pile of dye poop. Craps. Kits. And it is by Klutz, which is a company with Scholastic. Normally we have good impressions of Scholastic, but... Oh, so very, very sad. Thank you so much, Pound Key slash Kernet, for this wonderful letter. I really do hope, you know, brains look. It says, get to that million. Go forth and spread, spread the word. The word. Salt. 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 All right, and then she sent some extras. Oh, boy. Oh, that is the perfect candidate for squishy unmakeover. So... She dared me to turn it into a demon. Pretty sure I could do that. And then we have a random sandwich. You greens know I like to turn things into sandwiches. Some really adorable Pokemon buttons. She also included a couple of her handmade pieces. Budgies. Luna from Sailor Moon. Artemis. Pikachu. And that darn shell in Mario Kart that makes us all go kaboom! She also sent this gorgeous washi tape. I love packing things with washi tape because they're just so dreamy and so pretty. Alright, oh, and this... Oh, oh my god. Another My Hero Academia piece. I am such a dork for My Hero stuff. My favorite character is All Might. Let me know in the comment section below who is your favorite character. And if you don't watch it, dishonor on you and dishonor on your account. Because you don't want to be dishonored in this salt shaker green family. And last but not least, stickers. I love stickers so much. Well, let's see what stickers are inside. So we get a copy of those absolutely gorgeous Mercats that were outside on, on the outside of the box. I said it right. And some adorable onigiri. I love these faces. These are my moods on a practically daily basis. I mean, just look at it. And that's salty when a craft kit doesn't work. If you're interested to check her out again, I'll leave all the information in the description box below. And so today, I'm going to change the lineup just a little bit. We're going to be taking a look at items under $6. So that jelly soap, it's with my other craft kits from Scholastic. Stay tuned for a video of testing multiple Scholastic craft kits, because I'm a sucker for punishment. So we're going to check out the tattoo kit, the Funky Fizz Poopy Unicorn Soap. And we're also going to be checking the fuzzies, because many of you are like, But Jackie, you showed us the fuzzies and now I really want to see Fazeez because Fazeez <laughs> and that one is at $2.99 our first victim Fazeez 
because the name just rolls off the tongue. The interesting and scary part about the fuzzies thing is that we get to create our own toy by spraying it and then washing it. I'm really curious to know how this thing works and whether or not it's going to destroy one of my washing machines. You grains have no idea how many times a craft kit ruined something in my own house. They probably owe me money. I should cash in on that. But I'm scared because I really don't want to ruin the pipes. So as it says, make spray and then wash and dry. And that's why it's going to be our first kit of the day because while we're doing the other ones, it's going to be washing and drying. So we'll only see the result after it's dried up. The girl in the back looks absolutely adorable with her little curly hair. I really have hair envy. That's what I have. She looks like she's having fun and there's no adult in sight, which means it should be fairly straightforward. Time to see what we get inside. Fluffs in white and pink. A kind of super bendy mold, I guess. It's a half mold. So it looks like the doll that we're making, the doll, is going to be a flat back doll. At least I think so. And then this thing. Two pom pom -y looking things. Oh no, this is gonna take me longer than it should, wouldn't it? And then some buttons, I guess. Top part of a sprayer. And a fully illustrated and colored instructional sheet. Well, at this point, it's a manual and I'm really scared to look inside. All right, so before we get started on this catalog, how many pages are in this? 30 page booklet to make one plushie. I am not looking forward to making this. So it says to get a video instruction, we should go to fuzzies.com. Gosh, I'm enjoying saying this word nonstop. And the last time I asked you grains to go like, Aziz light. Many of you knew it was fifth element. Give yourself a gold star. Here it is for you. You may have it. All right, so time to go fuzzies. Once we get to fuzzies, problem finding brand info. Try again. Discontinued toy. Turned out to be $2.99. I think I can see where this is going. I really don't want to put it in my washer. All right, so I have my makeshift water bottle thing because they said to take a water bottle, but it's actually way too big for an actual water bottle. I hope it's not going to leak. Alright, so the idea is to cover those little things over here. So we're supposed to take the fluff, put it, and then just soak it with water. There we go. Well, that's not as sticky as, it, as they made it seem. Alright, let's do all the crevices. So the first step is pretty simple. Use soapy water, put it on the fluff, and just lay it all over those little crevices. That part was kind of fun. I love the squishiness of the soap right in between my fingers. And now the only thing left to do is start putting the different pieces of whiskers into the nose and then shoving it through the other side of the cardboard. Just letting you grains know, they do say have an adult help you put these washer things in. And holy moly, as an adult, this is quite challenging. But we got it. You see? Looks like a fidget spinner. Remember when that was a thing? Because I should do. So now the only thing left to do is fill out the gaps in between the head and the neck and the arms with our white fluff. We're at a point now where what we have to do is take those little pom pom things and pretty much wrap it in more fluff, like so. Soaking them, shoving them. All right, so since everything has been sprayed and done, the only thing left to do really is put these little clippy things. I'm like, there you go. I was just about to release the salt. And one of the things it actually mentioned was that if we don't have a washer, which I'm gonna pretend I don't, I can spray it really well and then shove it in the dryer until it's completely dry. But of course you have to put it in a pillowcase first. So I think I'm gonna do that. And the other option is if you don't have a dryer, shove it outside and let it air dry. One eternity later. Er me good, these clips were a pain in the butt. Not only did I have to put them in those little tiny peg holes, but then when I'm closing them, I had to make sure that those holes aligned to clip them back on. Wow, talk about tedious. Just to let you grains know, it is quite rare for a craft kit to make me hate my life decisions. And right now, it is one of those moments. I just want to take everything and throw it in the trash. But that wouldn't be fair. That wouldn't be fair. <laughs> I swear, by the salt and crafty gods, if I don't get a plushie out of this, so help me, I will rain down salt on all the Toy Factory Nation. Here we are an hour and a half later from the dryer and our fuzzies is absolutely dried up. There's no moisture coming out of it. I squeezed it a couple of times, maybe on the inside, but there's no indication whatsoever of whether or not to know if it's ready. So I'm just gonna unclip it all and then do the reveal with you grains. Before I do the reveal, just a reminder that we're supposed to be getting a half fluffy, very poofy looking cat. And we have to push this out of the hole, I believe. Let's do this here. 
so far so good and push this right out oh that is still wet i'm gonna put it back in there i want to see what it's like because it might need another hour and a half so here's here's our cat <laughs> oh no what happened so this is what it looks like i have to admit it is cute it would need at least another hour and a half in the dryer did it keep me busy yeah was it fun average but for three dollars will it keep someone busy and then they can get a plushie that they made on their own yeah so i would say it is worth your cash at three dollars it's discontinued so you probably won't find it more expensive than that so angel is a little conflicted he wants to say hi two grains but he's scared of my new light setup right no. so he's, he's gone angel you okay Hey birdie, you wanna come here? He's way too chicken. You're a chicken. I know, you're a chicken! Cause all you do is get scared of everything! <coughs> Are you coughing salt? Seems so. Good job. Oh. Yeah, we could do this for hours. What a pretty bird. All right, I'm feeling pretty salty, so I think our next kit is the kit with the girl that stares straight into your soul. figure why not color ourselves with temporary tattoos i mean it should be fun right i say skeptically with a very hard pitched voice all right let's see what we gotta do oh so this supposed kit was three dollars and fifty cents but there are no instructions anywhere other than it says test it on a sensitive area. And in essence, we're just getting washable markers in silver, pink, blue, purple, green, orange, and a kind of stencil sheet. Now my question is, how vibrant is it really? Actually, let's go find the girl again. So two things we have to keep in mind is that, first of all, it's extremely vibrant and it's supposed to glitter. Let's test them. So upon first inspection, they are actually pretty cute markers. Are they worth your cash or in the trash? And, oh, that looks like a normal pen. What's up? Let's swatch the orange. Okay, so it does slide on pretty easily. This one just feels like a ballpoint pen. Green, it feels really wet. I know that's the whole point, but it feels like wet, like sweat. Blue, pink, and silver. So here are the colors. It's pretty much what I would expect from kids' tattoos, which would also make really cute face paintings. But don't bring it too close to the eyes. All right, is it washable? Yeah, that's really washable. Wait, let's try it without any kind of wet stuff. It does rub off quite, oh wow, quite easily. Hmm. All right, let's try to get those stencils to work. Here they are, how do we, oh, well, hollow there. So how do we get these stencils to work? Wait, do I not get stencils? I got distracted by hollow. Maybe this way. All right, time to color it in. All right, now to do the reveal and see whether or not we're actually getting those shapes, even though the sticker doesn't stay. And the answer is, yeah, sure. That's not bad at all. Is it this vibrant? No. Does it glow glowy like the sparklies on her arm? No. But is it a fun activity for $3.50 that could keep people busy on a nice summer day? Yeah. So for $3.50, I would say worth your cash. Next. Funky Fizz. So according to the box, we should be able to make one poopy unicorn bath bomb. We don't get an idea of what it actually looks like. The instructions are printed straight on the box. So I'm really curious if it's actually going to turn out anything good. Wow, English, number one. And this kit was under $6. At least that's what Kernet said. All right, time to see how funky it is on the inside. Here's what we get inside. Two packs of baking soda, one in pink, the other in blue. Really curious to know if it smells any good. And the answer, it smells like absolutely nothing. That is disappointing on at least 15 different levels. Look at that. It is so disappointing, I'm shaking my scissors at you. What'd you do? Confess again. Many of you confessed of your lack of salt. I wanna hear it all. Two packs of citric acid, a surprise toy. I don't know why they call it a surprise toy, especially if we're the ones putting it inside. It's not a surprise anymore. It would be a surprise if you put it into a capsule and then I put the capsule inside and then I try to find what's in there. Otherwise, it's not a surprise. A poop mold, a pipette, and a stirring spoon. And they 
did include a an instructional sheet. So the instructions are pretty straightforward. All you have to do is mix one pack of the baking soda to one pack of the citric acid in two separate containers. Once that's done, we put one pipette with water and then mix it in. Once we mix it in, then we can put it in the mold and put our surprise in there if needed. And now we wait 25 minutes. All right, so it's been 25 minutes. Let's open up and see. It feels like it's sturdy in there. I really hope the two halves stuck to each other because it feels like we didn't get enough powder to put them together. I could be wrong, which happens often. But you're still here with me. Dang nabbit, we're one together. Let's tap this. Ooh, so far so good. That is crazy. This is the second time I get a bath bomb kit. Wait, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Slow down, Jackie. Slow down there. It's pretty heavy, so it is pretty much the size of a lush bath bomb, but it smells like Javex. I kid you not. But it smells... Oh, it's gross. It smells like Javex. They could have added some kind of scent, but they chose not to, which makes it smell acidic. I think one of the most important things now, how well does it fizz? According to the box, it's supposed to be a funky fizz. Not just any fizz, but a funky fizz. Kind of like, I guess, 70s? 70s funky fizz? All right, let's listen. This is genuinely the craziest fizz I have seen a kit do. Listen to this. Holy moly, that was quite the ride. Other than the fact that there's no scent, this kit was easy to make. It actually delivered a bath bomb, unlike some crap kits we tried. Not just that, but afterwards the water is kind of a deep purple. I kind of like that because usually it ends up being kind of a grayish purple, but this is a nice change. So yeah, if you do see Funky Fizz under $6 Canadian, which would probably end up being close to $4 US, I would say it's worth your cash. So we had three items and all three were worth your cash for different reasons. Oi, don't you dare hit me! Come here! Bring your butt over here! Which one of these three items were you the least hopeful on? Which one were you so sure it was going to fail? And let me know why in the comment section below. If you want to watch a salty review, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video YouTube thinks is just right for you, make sure you check down here. Say hi. Uh-huh. Say bye. Uh-huh. Hey you! Do you sometimes want to express yourself in a very colorful way, but you find yourself that you gotta stay polite? Well, we got you covered. Welcome to the magical word, HOLY CARB! With this shirt, you can express your geeky and green self. Available in shirts, mugs, hoodies, yes, a sticker, and for the first time ever, a huge beach towel. Limited edition digital signature until August 24th. After that, the design will be available, but without a digital signature. Cause when you're a grain, you come in like a hurricane.